Nurse, what's that? Is she new? Okay, because I have never seen her around here before. Well, I thought. I thought she was working with you. Okay. All right, well, you know, just, just keep an eye out. They... Just taking a little nap. Everything should be okay. Um, but the the blood the blood work did come back. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at that, your analysis, and um, now it's looking very very much like uh, like appendicitis, just like we thought. Well, no, no, no. I think doing the the ultrasound here. CT scan. It's pretty backed up today too, isn't it? All the more reason. Okay, well, I have the ultrasound set up in here. Um, but we should get prepped for surgery. Yeah. We're gonna just take a look at that.
Hi there. I'm Dr. GB. How are you feeling? You might have been a little dizzy, a little out of it. You're more clear-headed now? Okay, good. All right, well then we can take that mask off of you. How is your pain level? Scale of one to 10, one being no pain at all, 10 being the most excruciating pain you've ever felt. Okay, so we're doing a little bit better. Fantastic. All right. I'm gonna move in here for a second. I'm just gonna ask you some questions, okay? Is this your first time in this hospital? Yeah. Okay. New patient. Alright. Did you grow up in this area? Okay. Well, I went to school uh, in Chicago. Yeah? Oh, that's awesome. No, no. I wanted to go back. Absolutely. I'm just pulling up your blood work and your urinalysis results, okay? Um, those are the tests that we had you do when you came in and you got your vitals. Okay. How was your nurse? The one with the blue hair. Okay, you know, I might have some questions about that later, you know? Okay. All right. So what I wanted to do was just go over the symptoms that you had reported. Um, we did get some some pain medication in you, um, which you had a little bit of a woozy reaction to. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've noted that in the dosage in your chart. So this pain that you came in with, this was abdominal pain. Okay, and how long ago did this pain start? Mm -hmm. When it did start, was it a little bit more localized? Has the pain moved or changed at all in the last day or so? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you had to give it like a, an area of your abdomen, you'd say it's the lower right side, yeah? Okay. Right. So that is definitely one of the biggest symptoms that we tell people to look out for with appendicitis. I know you're thinking you might have appendicitis. I think that's a very good guess. Um, we're going to get a couple of more clues from the results of your blood work and your analysis. Uh, so I'm just taking a look at that here. And it looks like with your blood work, your white blood cell count, it's much higher than normal. That would indicate to me uh, infection, inflammation. Again, that's lining up with appendicitis. Now with your urinalysis, I'm not seeing anything that would indicate to me that you have kidney stones or uh, 
a UTI or anything like that. Sometimes those things can very much mimic appendicitis, which is why we check for those. So the fact that those are not showing up, again, makes me think we're headed in the right direction. And the thing with appendicitis, it's so important that you come in right away. So I am glad. I know it looks here. You spent the night, woke up in the morning, and it still was not great. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was the perfect time to come in. We, we really don't want to wait for the appendix to have a chance to rupture or perforate or anything like that. It turns it into a whole different scenario. So what we're going to do... Is essentially confirm that this is what you have. Um, with appendicitis, I don't know who's talked to you yet. This is considered an emergency surgery simply because we do want to get your appendix out before it does have a chance to rupture. Um, so that's where the sense of urgency really comes from. So you'll be looking at surgery today, absolutely. So I just wanted to let you know that before I start the examination, just so you can start thinking about it. If you have any questions or concerns, people you need to contact, we'll be able to help you with that, okay? Good. Alright. So let's move back to your symptoms here. Your fever... You took that this morning at home, and once again, when you got here, I'm going to want to take that one more time just to make sure that it's not going up, okay? And the pain in your abdomen, it has lessened since you received your pain medication. That's really good. Yeah, essentially, we just want to make sure that uh, during the process of diagnosing you, you aren't sitting here writhing in pain, okay? Very old school way of thinking um, is that I wouldn't be able to diagnose it if we gave you pain management. So, no. Not here. I'm glad you're feeling better. It makes my, my job easier. makes your life much better. Win-win. Okay? Um, so please let me know if you're feeling uh, major pain or discomfort, if you're having problems focusing on what I'm saying or things like that, just you can absolutely speak up and I'll be checking in. Okay. So the pain in your abdomen, would it get worse or better if you were to stand up and walk around? Mm-hmm. And what about if you were to cough? It gets worse, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. How about the nausea and vomiting? Have you been able to eat anything? Okay. Well, that's actually good, especially if, uh, if uh, surgery is probable. We need to make sure that you didn't eat anything in quite a while, so you, you don't think you've had anything for 12 hours? Even longer? Okay. Alright, well, loss of appetite absolutely is a very common symptom. Again, uh, we want to make sure that you don't eat or drink anything until we get this, this figured out. Okay. Alright, how about any bloating, constipation, diarrhea, anything with like your GI? And did that start before or after the nausea? Okay. Alright. Has anything um, made your pain more severe? Mm -hmm. And then has anything made it better at all? Feel best when you're lying down. What about if you were to sit up? 
I'll be all right. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I just want to double check here if I have any allergies to medication in particular. Okay, previous surgeries. That should have all been taken down, but I just... Right, all right. confirm that it has not ruptured, um, things like that. It is something I can do here in this room. It's going to be a little bit more affordable. The CT scan uh, would take a bit longer to get you in there. So what I'm going to do is use the ultrasound and hopefully that'll give us exactly what we need. But if it doesn't, we do have more options. It's just uh, what I would like to start with. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Ultrasound is painless. Um, it uses a probe-like camera. It's going to go on the outside of your abdomen. And I will be pressing down on it, on your stomach, so that can be a little bit uncomfortable at times, but uh, you'll be able to take breaks if you need to. Okay. Alright, let me take your temperature. And I'm going to oh, push this aside. Briefly, I'm just gonna have you look at my nose, okay? Keep looking at my nose. Just wanna make sure you're back to reliable responsiveness, okay? And I'm gonna hold my finger right over this light. Can you follow this for me with your eyes? Good. Mm hmm Good. Move a little bit closer. Farther away. Here. And here. under your tongue and we'll just hold there for a moment perfect okay you do still have a slight fever um, but it's not going up So I am going 
to go ahead and proceed with the abdominal examination. Um, are you too cold or anything like that? I'm going to pull the covers just down to expose the bottom right side of your abdomen like that. Is that okay? And I'm going to place my hands on top of your stomach. It's going to feel like this. Good? All right. So right now I'm just going to move my hands from side to side, starting near the top of your abdomen. And I want you to let me know where there's more pain. Right there? Right there. Okay. And then if I keep moving to the left side, not so much. Okay. I'm going to do some percussions, which just means I'm going to put my fingers there and give a little tap. It's going to help me feel underneath. Is that good? Okay. If anything is particularly sore, Because I don't think that uh, your appendix has ruptured yet, which we are going to confirm, um, what I can see happening is a laparoscopic surgery. So the laparoscopic surgery is a little bit more new than maybe you've heard about people having appendicitis in the past, maybe read Madeline as a child, I did, uh, but this is a way of doing surgery in which you'll have much smaller incisions. People's recovery time is much shorter, so we can do those. I definitely prefer to. We would be making um, one incision near your belly button, and that is actually where a very, very tiny camera goes through and allows us to see. And then two other very tiny incisions would be made, and those are what our tools would have access to be able to remove your appendix and stop all this nonsense. Mm. Mm -hmm. So some people, like, um, you don't have any sort of dense scar tissue in the area. Fantastic. And um, so that will be our first line of defense essentially, but there are other options as well. Go ahead and put these blankets back on you here. Is your pain level still the same? Do you have any questions so far? Okay. Alright, you like it? Let me take a listen to your abdomen with stethoscope as well. Hold here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. I would like to see the images from the ultrasound. That's going to that's going to determine the most, I think. And recovery would be fairly fast. It would I typically would tell my patients um, if they go for laparoscopic appendicitis. Um, 
about three weeks of not doing any heavy lifting, but you'll be able to go home very soon. Should I want to do days? Yeah, so. If I get the ultrasound set up here, we'll be able to take a look. So the appendix is actually a about a finger shaped size organ. You don't need it, you can function without it. And I just want to get you turned, so you're going to come a little bit this way. I'm going to push your bed up slightly. Ready? Okay. And then we're going to turn you this way. Very good. So this is the ultrasound machine. I went ahead and turned it on, so that humming that you hear, it's just coming from the machine. Have you ever had an ultrasound before? Yeah, so they're very common. Um, you probably have heard about them. Usually, you associate them with pregnancy and things like that, but you can actually use it to see a lot more than, than just that. So, um, what I'm going to do is set up this probe. And I'll be putting this probe on your skin kind of pressing down on your abdomen. It might take me a little bit to find it because the appendix is notoriously hard to find on the ultrasound. Sometimes people prefer um, CT scan, uh, even MRI, but again, this is going to be a little bit faster. If this doesn't work, we can explore alternative routes, but I think we almost definitely have our answer. So I'll be looking at the screen right there. This is what's going to go onto your abdomen. This is just a disposable cover. And then we have the ultrasound gel as well. If you've ever had aloe put on after a sunburn, very similar. Again, can be a little bit cold. So this will just help the probe here kind of just glide across your abdomen so that there's no pulling or anything like that. So we're just gonna pull the blankets down. Are you feeling okay? Okay, good. If any of this is uncomfortable, again, let me know. Um, I will be uh, pressing down kind of hard at points uh, to get the correct image. There'll be some twisting and turning just trying to get the image that I that I need to see. Again, sometimes it can be quite hard to locate the appendix. It's a little bit different on everybody. Right over here where I can see it. Perfect. 
perfect. You're doing okay. Good. You're still doing all right. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. All right. With that very much confirmed, we are going to prepare to send you down to surgery. So, if there's anyone that we can contact, we absolutely can. Um, the surgery typically is 30 minutes to an hour. Very routine surgery. I would be happy to talk through any concerns that you might have. I know that coming in, coming into the emergency room when you were feeling just a little not too good yesterday and now all of a sudden you're getting surgery, it can feel very overwhelming, so we do have time to talk through things, right? So we can't really predict if or when it would rupture, um, but that can be a lot more serious, um, so it would absolutely be in your best interest to to do that surgery now. Um, some people do uh, treat their appendicitis with antibiotics. Uh, we have given you some antibiotics pre-surgery uh, to start treating that. Uh, sometimes people can treat it right uh, fully with antibiotics and no surgery. Almost all of them will come back with appendicitis again within a year, though almost always likely get their appendix removed eventually. Um, so since we caught this, uh, I would definitely say that we could do it now. Your recovery time would be, uh, I would say to expect to stay one to two days here. For somebody like you, I looked at your chart and your history. Um, I 
I would expect one at most. Um, but after the surgery, you know, if I'll see you again, we'll be able to look over and make sure that everything's okay before we send you home. But I know a lot of people don't want to stay here. Uh, you know, they want to get out as fast as they can. Hopefully we can make you as comfortable as possible while you're here. The anesthesiologist is actually on their way. And you'll be going under general anesthesia. That just means that you will, it will essentially be like you're asleep, you won't remember anything, you will not feel any pain at all, and you'll wake up uh, in your recovery room is very nice. So what we want to do is I'll call in some help and we will take your bed. We're going to roll you down to surgery and there you will be able to talk to the anesthesiologist. We'll be able to meet the surgical team. Well, I'm really glad that you came in when you did. I hope that this hasn't been too rough of an experience for you. I know. All right. So what I'm going to do is go get some help and we'll just start bringing you down, okay? Do you have any other questions? No problem. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Stay put and everything will be 